Hello guys, let's make one more exercise in Autodesk Fusion. To make this exercise here, we we'll only use the extruded features. So open in Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part here, we'll create this sketch here and the front plane. Here will be our midpoint and we'll create a construction line here to make another point here, the center point. And the distance here will be a half of 50 millimeters, okay, 25 millimeters here. The first step, it will be used for reference and we'll make a construction line here with 20 millimeters. And it will be for reference line, okay. So we'll go to create a sketch, select the front plane, select a line, construction line, make a line here with 25 millimeters and create a line here with 20 millimeters. Go to constraint, select the midpoint, select this line here and this point, okay? We made this. Okay. Now, we'll create this arc and create this line here and this arc, okay? This arc has 30 millimeters. This line here, the distance between this point here and the midpoint, 60 millimeters. And this radius here, this arc, the radius is 15 millimeters of radius, okay? And we know that this point here is horizontal with the midpoint, okay? So go to create, select arc, center point arc, click here, 15 millimeters of radius. Remove the construction line type here. Okay, go to constraints, horizontal vertical, select this point in the midpoint here. Now select a line, make a line here. Go to sketch dimension, the distance between this point here and the midpoint is 60 millimeters. And now go to create, select arc, center point arc. Make an arc here with 30 millimeters of radius, okay? So go to sketch dimension, 30 millimeters. Go to constraint, select tangent, select this line and this arc. And go to horizontal vertical, select this point here and this point. And select this point here and this point here. We made this, okay? Now go to create and select mirror. Select this line in this arc here, the mirror line. Select this line here. Press OK. Now go to offset. Select this line here, this line. The offset here is 10 millimeters. And press OK. We need to make this line here, okay? And we know that this line is 20 millimeter, 10 millimeters from the center, okay? So go here, select a line, make a line here in between these two arc, and go to constraint, select the midpoint, select this line here and this point. Now go to trim, cut here and cut here. Go to sketch dimension. This arc here has 25 millimeters of radius. Okay. Now make the same line for, to this side. Make a line here between these two arc. Go to constraints, midpoint, select this line and this point here. Now go to modify, select it, trim, cut here and cut here. And go to sketch dimension. The radius here is 25 millimeters. Okay. We can move this point a little bit here, and this one. Okay. Now let's make the other side. And this side we have a line here with 65 millimeters. This line here has 10 millimeters, okay. Here is 50. So 10 plus 30 plus 10, okay, is 50. And we have another line here that is coincident with this arc, OK? 
okay this arc the radius 25 millimeters so select the line click here in this point make a line here with 65 millimeters sorry go to dimension here 65 millimeters select a line make a line here with 10 millimeters and another line here the this point here is coincident with this one so select this point go to constraint coincident and select this point okay now go to mirror select this line here this line and this line the mirror line is this construction line here press ok now go to constraint select the coincident select this point and this point here okay let me hide the constraints here we have the sketch here okay now finish the sketch we need to extrude this 46 millimeters okay so go to extrude select this profile the direction here is symmetric measurement whole length and the distance here 46 millimeters operation new body press ok we made this ok now let's make these three holes here ok the diameter is 12 millimeters the diameter the distance between these two circles 24 millimeters and the distance between this circle here 12 millimeters we know that it is in the center point here okay horizontal with the midpoint so go to create a sketch select this face here select a circle make a circle here with 12 millimeters and create another two circles here 12 millimeters and 12 millimeters here go to constraint select the horizontal vertical select this circle in this point and select this two circle here now go to sketch dimension the distance between this two circle here is 12 millimeters and the distance between this two circle is 24 millimeters okay now we have the distance between this edge and the center of the circle 15 millimeters and the distance between these circles here is 24 millimeters so the distance between these two circles 24 millimeters and the distance between this circle here and this edge is 15 millimeters okay we made this all the circles with 12 millimeters of diameter okay finish the sketch go to extrude select these three circles here and the extended type here is all and here flip the direction operation cut and press ok we made this okay okay now to finish this exercise we need to make this cut here it is a rectangle and he is in the center it is in the center of the the midpoint horizontal okay the center of this rectangle is horizontal with the midpoint we have the dimensions here 35 and 8 millimeters so let's make a rectangle go to create select this face here go to create select the project include project the selection filter here select the body select this body here press ok let me hide this body here now select your two point rectangle make a rectangle here is 35 millimeters by 8 millimeters okay now here go to constraint select the midpoint select this line the line of the rectangle and this purple line here the projected line okay and we made this finish the sketch 
now go to extrude show this body here select this profile the rectangle okay and the direction here one direction extended all flip the direction here we'll make this cut and press ok we made this ok and here we finish your exercise so thanks for watching subscribe my channel for more and see you in the next video bye bye